Well, I'm going to show you today is a couple new images. We got our new glass vases and some flowers and different way of coloring the glass vases and different flowers. Okay, we're going to start off with I215. It's the glass vases. It's a brand new image. I'm going to stamp it. I'll stamp it twice. I have that's why I'm going to stamp it. We inked my ink pad earlier today. There we go. It's one of my images. There we go. Clean my stamp on a damp paper towel. Okay, we're going to start off with one of them. And I'm going to color how I normally color the um, jars, which is three colors of combo markers. I'm going to start off with the 491. It's a light teal. And then I'm going to accent with the 452, which is a little bit darker teal. And then I'm going to use the 553 blue. So for coloring, I always work light to dark. And I'm going to just kind of, my brush stroke is not a constant stroke. It's almost like a little dashes. So I'm going to take that and color. Okay. This doesn't have to be a step that takes forever. I suppose I should have started the other way since I'm left-handed. You could have seen what I've done more. So there is my first step. It's very light. To shade, I'm not going to go in with the 452 teal and just go over it because I'll have a very harsh line. So what I'm going to do is take my 491 and brush it on the darker one and then when I color my shades or my two tones will blend together so that way you get a nice blended tone between the two and again I'm not doing the broad strokes I want this to look like watercolor without having to use watercolor paper and brushes and all that other fun stuff because I don't have the patience to do that. All right, so there's my second shade. It's just a little bit darker, blended in there well. So now get the right lids on the right markers. Put the light one to teal down and go to the 452 and then come in and add my darker colors. All right. This doesn't have to take a long time. And I found when you take too long on a card, you don't really necessarily either get it finished or want to give it away. There you have it. All right, so here is my basically shaded jars, but I want to, um, not jars, excuse me, vases. I want to add a little bit of a different blue. So this is the 553. And this is the blue that we always add to our greens when we're doing grass. So if you ever watched any of our videos, this marker comes up all the time. All right. Basically, there are our finished vases. Now to put the new flower in it, this is the E277, it's the Scratchy Clover. And lost my black ink pad. Make sure to get it in there, I'm gonna turn this a little bit 
and you can kind of see where the stem is going to go. So there are my three. Clean that off. Three flowers in my vases. Then the colors I'm going to use for these. I have the 673, it's a soft magenta, the 665, and then I'm going to use, whoops, not that one, grab the right one, the 055, it's yellow, and then the 985, a golden orange, and the 925, it's an orange. So I'm going to start off with my soft magenta. And this is my brush stroke. Very quick little swipes. So there's my first shade the, of the soft magenta. Then just like before, I'm going to take my dark magenta, which is too dark to just put over, tap the two together so I get a medium magenta color. And I kind of just do three swipes. There are the flowers with the two tones on it. Then I'm going to come back in with the dark, which was the 665, and just put a little bit of dark at the base of each um, scratchy clover flower bud. So there they are. And I'm going to take this one has a little bit of yellow on the brush, the top of the brush. So I'm just tapping my yellow. So I got my yellow, and that was 0 0.55. Then 9.85, kind of going in between. Again, just a tap. Nothing is very precise with this step. And then the 925, just to darken it. So that's where we're at so far. So we just wanna dress it up a little bit, add the stems to our flowers. And for that, I have the 192 green, the 553 blue, and I'm going to throw in a little bit of the 133 lime. Just going to kind of brush over the stem. I'm also going to add a little bit down in the vases, or down between the vases. We don't want them floating. So we got that. Then I'm going to add, there we go, then I'm going to add my 553 blue. It's maybe not something you notice, but it makes a huge difference in the colors and making them pop. And then my little bit of lime green. I just like, when I use the magentas, I like to add the lime green in. It's a nice little pop. So I have that. And then to keep it from floating, I'm going to use my 942, the tan. 
and do that. And if you want, you can add a little bit of tan in the stems. And then the last step is the N95 gray. And this is the soft shadow I put around everything. In case you're wondering what that was, that was Dave running into the trash can. <laughs> like I said, this is truly a home studio. He's currently leaning against the washing machine. <laughs> Amazon. Okay. So we got that. So basically that back it and we have a little card. Now the other card, I colored the vases a little bit in a different way. I wanted them to look a little more like pottery rather than just glass. So I stamped on a very handy little post-it note. Making sure I got, this doesn't have to be perfect, some of the vase down on the sticky part of the post-it note. Then I took my X-Acto knife and cut out, I did this twice, and cut out the vases. So what I had was one post-it note with three of the vases and a second post-it note with two of the vases. And those are my masks. So I'm going to take this. We'll start out with the three of them. And the reason you want it on the sticky is now I don't have to hold it. It's on there. I'm going to use three sticks for this. I'm going to use the uh, AA23 Snowflake, the AA63 Three Dots, and the AA68 um, Brush Flower and then a rainbow pad. And if you've not seen the rainbow pads, they're nice. The lid only fits when they're apart, but you can snap them together and you have a rainbow pad or apart and you have the separate one. So I'm gonna take this and I'm kind of gonna do the bottom vase part, the, where it would be in water in blue. So I'm tap, 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 tapping to create a pattern rather than just an image. And I come up into the neck of the vase a little bit. Then I'm just gonna switch right over to a magenta color, or the magenta purpley color in the Calypso pad is what I'm using. And go up the base and just kind of blend the colors. For the um, little center base, I'm going to use the Snowflake, the 23. Same process. And I do kind of try to shade it, stamp it heavier in an area, fade it off to the other side. Let's see what I'm doing so far. And let's see, this one, I'm going to switch and do kind of the pinky reds. Same thing, blend it down into the base. And then the last one, on um, this mask, I'm going to go back to that brush flower. I like that one, it makes kind of a nice little pattern. So you can see kind of what I'm doing. I'm just sort of fading it, using it like a paintbrush and a patterned paint, or a paint and a patterned paintbrush. So I'm going to clean this off, pick up the yellowy color. Try to blend those two together. Okay. And I'll bring this close so when you pull the mask off, there are three kind of pottery looking glass vases. So now we'll switch to the other mask, which has the two 
middle vases. And I did the snowflake again on the tall one. And you can probably hear the stamping more than see it right now. It's just a tap, 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 tap. And then I'm going to switch to green. green base and then the last one I'm going to use that three dots stamp so again start off with the blue which the three dots if I just left it this way is really cool for making marbles and that type of thing in the bottom of the vase so you could color the vase and then add all sorts of fun little colored marbles And then I'm going to go to the magenta purpley color. Maybe tap a little bit into the red just to change it up from the other one a little bit. And then you have that. Again, I'll pull the mask off. And there are kind of your pottery sort of looking jars. So I'll put my rainbow pad away. Now the next stamp I'm going to use is, it's brand new and I've forgotten the name, but it's D149, which I shouldn't forget the names because I'm the one that names them. Um, I'm going to take my black. Turn it I'm going to take whoops my post-it note and then I have one that escaped at the bottom. So here are my flowers, the forgotten unnamed flower in my vases. And for this, I'm going to use my 055, my 985, my 925, and my 856. Those are pretty much my colors for my flowers. So I'm just going to quickly pop some bright yellow on those little petals. I'm not being very careful about staying in the lines. So there's my first round, the yellow. I'm going to come in with my golden orange. my golden orange and I'm going to take my dark orange and throw a little bit of dark in there so I got that I'm going to refrain from the red for the moment because if I added the gray after I added the red and I touch the gray to the red, it will bleed it and I'll have a pink streak. So I don't want that. So I'm going to do all my coloring, add my gray, and then add my little red at the top. So now we have our flower, our, our leaves again. It's the 553 blue, the 192 green, and that 133 lime. Ooh. 
blue around the bottom blue excuse me green around the bottom then I come in with the 553 blue I'm also going to use the 942, the tan, to anchor it a little bit. Bring it down into the stems. My lime, if you want to. And I'm also going to take my lime, and you can add a little bit to the vase, the, of the green one, and it gives it a little bit of a anchor point. This one I'm going to add a little bit of the blue. Kind of ties one side in. This one I'm going to use the 723, the pink. But it again ties it in. The 192 green. And the 553 blue on this one. Okay. And now we need our gray, which was the N95. So I have my gray on there. Now I'm going to take that 856. There's my gray and all the colors on there. I'm going to take the 856 and add little kind of fairy things, stamens or whatever they are, accents to my flowers. Now one of the things I did on the other card, which I did here too, is I had a smudge and I have a little smudge right in there. So I'm going to take my fine line pilot pen and put these little dots and they're going to go right over my smudge. We have a stamp that does this, but sometimes I need to add them because of the smudge. So apparently I'm kind of smudgy today. So we have our finished kind of pottery looking vases.